Whew, okay. Nice and easy. So we are starting this new game that um, a lot of people have played and gotten very frustrated over. And now uh, let's do the same, I guess. It's gonna take a while to beat this, I, be I believe. So uh, let's try it. Let's start in three, two, one, go. So new game, let's see what this is about. Okay, so, oh wow, that is so much weirder than I had anticipated. Okay, you need to move your mouse way more as well than I had thought. Oh, that is so weird. And then, oh, it's it's so backwards kind of thing. Oh, let's go. And then we go like, uh. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute, if you want some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red, but it oh, came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before oh. a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it. If you want an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. Oh. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh, this is so cozy. All right. Thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. And don't worry. I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002 titled Sexy Hiking. The author of that game was Jazuo, a mysterious ah, chip it. designer who was known at the time as the father of B games. And B-games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. Okay, we got the hammer over. Now we just need to swing ourselves around, I guess. No, no. Oh, you just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration, oh. a real punch in the gut. It's just a little weird, you'll get over it? Yeah, I know. Can't you just like, like that? Probably can. Yeah, uh, maybe not. Yeah, let's try not to do that or avoid doing that. Uh, I can already see myself getting really frustrated with this. Oh, let's go, okay. Easy. Easy does it. No! Oh, that is so brutal that you can't just do that. Nope. Nope, don't. Whoa, let's go! In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly nope. in danger of falling and losing everything. Oh, shit. I need to be careful that I don't accidentally fall over that cliff because... Like right now it's kind of a safe space for me, or a safe point. Uh, but nothing is, as he said, guaranteed in games like this. Get away. Get out of here. <laughs> Stupid coffee mug. Can you balance on this, please? Or something like that? No! Ah, <laughs> uh, god damn.
Oh, let's go. That was kind of uh, pro. Oh, let's go. Okay, we're back here. Don't do anything too hasty now. Thank you. Okay, we got up there. Nope. Stop. Stop it. We're fine. Easy does it. <laughs> How do I get up there? Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree Not that like blocks that. the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. Oh, that was close. Yeah. Yo, let's go. Nice. Okay, that's kind of a safe point as well. Okay. It's not guaranteed though. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Maybe we should just do that instead. Yeah, that, that's way better. <laughs> yeah, I know I, I know a lot of people obstacles have and sexy hiking are unyielding. Been doing that a lot. And that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past a new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. I've heard about this a video shaft. Game world, you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset nope. cement. Mm. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. I'm pausing a lot to hear the actual uh, the commentary because I feel like it's quite essential to this type of game. Come on, you can you can get that through there. <laughs> I know you can't, but still. Okay, let's try something else here. So we go like uh, like this. Oh, let's go. Okay. Very nice. Get up there. No, no, no. So close. Okay. But I think I have the idea. So I want to be hanging from that light there like this. I can't have the hammer rotate in the chimney. Um, it seems like. Oh, let's go. Okay. That's really good. Caught it. I caught it. And lower. And... Okay, we're through the chimney. Kind of. We still need to get up there, but... Uh, I'm pretty sure I can do that. Fairly. Easily. For there we go. For years now, people have been predicting that games would soon be made out of prefabricated objects. Aw, oh, dang it. <laughs> I can uh, see myself be stuck here for quite a while. Let's go! Over time, we've poured more and more refuse mm. into this vast digital landfill that we call the internet. It now vastly outnumbers and outweighs the things that are fresh and untainted and unused. When everything around us is cultural trash, trash becomes the new medium, the lingua franca of the digital age. And you can build culture out of trash. But only trash culture. B games, B movies, B music, B philosophy. 
Okay. Maybe this is I'm not sure if you can fall is. down through here. A monstrous okay, you can't. Good. Trash, <laughs> the ash heap of creativity's fountain. A landfill with everything we ever thought of in it. Grand, infinite, and unsorted. I am pretty sure there's a hole down here. Like, right around here where you fall all the way down back to the start. So let's try and see if we can skip that. Thank you very much. Or jump over that. We could not. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, okay, there was a hole, but not quite as uh, deadly as I thought it would be. Down that way, that is definitely death. Oh, don't do that. Pretty sure I can't actually reach over there, but let's try anyway. Nope. <laughs> oh my lord, okay, let's, let's just like go from here, I think. Like that, exactly like that. Oh, okay. No! Oh, sorry about that. I knew, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, that little bounce from actually landing on the thing, but that not being enough. Yeah. Well, that's just this game in a nutshell, isn't it? But I can already feel like I'm so much better at the game, <laughs> you know, like in, in just this these short 20 minutes that I've played, which is very much the whole idea of this this game, that once you've gotten past a, an obstacle once, when you get there next time, it should should take you like a fraction of the time. You've done this part before. You know it's possible. Just do what you did the first time. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I'm trying, but I actually don't remember what exactly I did. So I guess my philosophy is uh, kind of invalid now. What the fuck did I do? Last time. I don't remember. Did I just do like that? No, definitely not like that. Yeah, that's a good start. Need to get back down here, actually. There. That is good. That's not good. That's really not good. Dang it. <laughs> uh. There we go. Okay, we're back up here. Very nice. Now we just do the same thing as we did last time. Oh, we actually almost did. That was crazy. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Oh, it happened again. Keep on trying. Don't let it get to you. Nice. <laughs> Need to be a little bit more careful this time. There we go. It was almost too early that I said that, but uh, we got it. And now we can extend. And... No, no, god damn it. I thought I'd caught it again. Okay. Okay, that's how you do that. Not like that. What is that? Dude. There we go. Okay. We are back. Oh, that was so close. All right, cool. And now we need to get over there. 
Love the music. Nice, okay. I believe there's a safe thing. Nope, there's not a safe thing down there. <laughs> Okay, now the music is kind of annoying. Nope. Don't like that. I need it further out. Like there, I think. That was a little scary. When games were new, they wanted a lot from you. Nope. Okay, we're on the camera. <laughs> Catch! Oh my god. That scared the living bejesus out of me. Now I know, most likely you're watching this on oh. YouTube or Twitch, while some dude with 10 million views does it for you. Like a baby bird being fed chewed up food. <laughs> That's culture too. Well, I would love to have that many views, but uh, that's okay, I guess. I think I'm overthinking these sometimes. Like that. There we go. I think sometimes it's just better to go do and and not think <laughs> because more often than not but on the off chance that you're playing this what i'm saying here. is trash is disposable but maybe it doesn't have to be approachable what's the feeling like are you stressed i guess you don't hate it if you got this far feeling frustrated it's underrated it is actually quite underrated to feel frustrated because when you are frustrated, you can overcome that frustration, which feels amazing. Okay, this orange I've An heard about is oh. sweet, juicy fruit locked inside a bitter peel. That's not how I feel about a challenge. I only want the bitterness. It's coffee. It's grapefruit. There we go. It's licorice. Now this is a scary place because I believe that way is all the way down to the bottom the soul would have no rain okay never mind eyes, no tears. John Vance Cheney okay that's, that's fine that's fine that, that wasn't as far as I had feared we've done this before fairly well I believe now this is a scary part that I did get first try last time uh, but I don't remember exactly how, so let's just go for it. The pain I feel now That's is not how the happiness I had supposed before. To be. That's the deal. C.S. Lewis. I feel within ah! me a peace above all earthly dignities, a still and quiet conscience. William Shakespeare. Thank you, Shakespeare, for the kind words. Love it. Very inspirational. No. You cannot now believe that you will ever feel better. But this is not true. You're sure to be happy again. And knowing this, truly believing it, will make you less miserable now. Abraham Lincoln. Those are some wise words, though. Also, this uh, coffee mug is kind of glitching out, which is a little hilarious to me. Oh, that was fast. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Very nice. God fucking damn it. <laughs> okay. I think I want to try and catch 
those shelves that the bottom half or that bottom part but I'm not sure like that you'll be back here again and again avenge and repent uh. until you've ascended or until you're contented to live is to suffer to survive is to find some meaning in the suffering Friedrich Nietzsche that's a very classic Nietzsche quote. Find meaning in whatever you do, and only do what you find meaningful. If you don't find it meaningful, don't do it. Uh, Doesn't have to be, like, the meaning of life meaningful, but don't do meaningless shit. Oh. Oh. Yeah, let's go, finally. Actually, I need to check something. Can you even grab that? Yes, you can. Okay, don't do anything stupid, thank you. <laughs> this part is not too bad, actually. He says and almost fucks it up. Dang it. Oh my god, don't die there. <laughs> okay, we're back to the orange. Okay, didn't die immediately. Don't... Oh my god. How did that happen? Okay, let's land there again. How does... Why doesn't he get gripped there? Okay, there we go. So we kind of need to... More like towards himself, like that. Oh, like that. That was good. Want him down one spot there. Ah, oh, dang it. Um, get in here again. I guess we need to go there. That was too fast! No! Oh. Okay, that's, that's to be expected. I'm gonna fail on that orange part a lot of times. It's very scary, but that's just the nature of that. Let's go! Okay, that's the furthest I've been. Nice. I am not gonna be able to... She smiled in defeat with unconquerable eyes. What am I Love doing? And the world loves with you. Weep and you weep alone. Mm, Better by far you should forget and smile than you should remember and be sad. There are no regrets in life, just lessons. No! Uh, look at that. <laughs> the lair. That's the not seems it! No more soulless thing. Okay, calm down. Rough one. Still have the orange to contest with, though. What is that? I'm, uh, I'm gonna let you be for a little bit. Thank you. Nice. Nice. Not, not nice. What? What was that? It grabbed it and then just like bounced off. Mm, yeah, this is the one I believe. <laughs> Back down. <laughs> okay. Nice and easy. Well, let's do this uh, first attempt at uh, 
getting over it with Bennett Foddy, yes. Didn't even freaking do a voice line, man. Can't swing too fast because otherwise it's just gonna move the hammer. There we go. Got it. Let's go. <laughs> Woo. Very nice. Okay, we're back here again. Been at this orange for two hours was what I was going to say. That was so bad. Dude, no what? I panicked. Why am I panicking like that? Fucking finally. We are up here again. Okay, we've been here before. And instantly just fall, fell off. And that was like an hour and a half ago. <laughs> if not more. Okay, now we just need the helping hand here. Oh my. No, 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 no. What the fuck, man? Ugh. I should have taken my time more with that. Okay, we need to be very careful here, I think. Let's try something new here. Like that? Can you reach that? Not like that. Nope. But we can go up a little further. Like that, maybe. Nope, that was not further. <laughs> there we go. That should be better. Nice, okay. We are back here. So let's not fuck it up. Finally, oh my god, okay. Kind of a checkpoint, I think. It feels like we're closer now. Composer and climber, designer and user. You could have refused, but you didn't. There was something in you that was hidden, that chose to continue. That feels so good. <laughs> And, uh, love doing that. Okay, let's uh, focus on the, the run a little bit here until we inevitably get stuck again. But this feels really good to finally have made it out of the orange hell. Damn, dude. It's a tough one. This... Is this good enough? That's not good enough. Ooh, that's high. Let's go, okay. Be careful with the hat. Nice, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, we want to get rid of the hat, I think. There we go. Okay, anvil. Can I fall all the way down from here? I believe I can. Which is kind of scary. Okay, I can't. Never mind. <laughs> but I need to get all the way up there. I'm not sure that hook is actually a hook that I can grab onto. There we go. Oh, dang it. Nice. Whoop. 
Dice. All right. Cool. What's up there? It means a lot to me oh. that you've come this far, endured this much, every wisecrack, <laughs> every insensitivity, every setback you've forgiven me is a kingly gift that you've given me. Well, you're welcome. Thank you for making a great game. Mr. Bennett 40. Okay. These are a little bit scary, especially the further over we get, because then we can fall even farther, I think. Okay, I think we just, I can't, I can't see the next one, so I think we just go, that's a snowman. There we go. I think that's one of the uh, great virtues of this game, the frustration. It's one of what makes the game great. I really like that aspect of this game, honestly. Uh, then again, I think being a speedrunner helps with that. Oh, you can actually see it there. Oh, that's way too far. That's brutal. But not too bad. Get another chance here. Not a go. Oh, okay, we got it. Okay, that's the furthest we've been. Very nice. Nice and slow. Very nice. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of bees. Okay. So far, so good. This is a scary one. Fuck you. Okay, we didn't fall all the way down. That's good. Still here. What the fuck? Thank you, game. That's exactly what I wanted. And one last. And we're back. Okay. Can we perhaps... That was scary. Do something like that. Let's go. Okay. So we do not want to go down the snake. Do not ride the snake. I know. Because that sends us all the way back to the start. Okay. Could you stop flattering about? Thank you. Dang it. You need to be on the other side of it, I think. Oh, this is so scary, dude. <laughs> Dude, how's that not on? Dude, what? Okay, that's not it. Uh, maybe it is something like that. Okay, that's good. Oh, this is scary. Nope, don't don't go down the snake. Don't go down the snake. I said, Jesus Christ. Okay, we go. Okay, we're on the plank. Whew. We need to go over to the right there. Let's go. Three, two, one. Boom. That's not it. Oh, okay. We we that's fine. I'm fine with this. <laughs> I think. I 
I think we're gonna go underneath again just in case because this does not seem safe at all. Okay, that's not too bad actually. It's not that f high up that plank. Back on the plank. Nice. Okay, we're on the ice wall. And that is kind of scary. I know there are some kind of invisible hammer holds that you can latch onto. Okay. This is actually not as bad as I had feared. Don't speak too soon, dude. I need to be very careful not to do that. What? Okay, very nice. Have you thought about who you are in this? Oh my god, that's are you so the loud. Man in the pot, Diogenes? Are you his hand? Are you the top of his hammer? I think not. Where your hand moves, the hammer may not follow. Nor the man, nor the man's hand. In this year is will, his intent, the embodied resolve in his uphill ascent. That's Surprise me a little bit. Don't oh, dang it. At least we didn't fall all the way down. Ooh, that was good. Come on. Okay, very slow. That's not very slow. Okay, that's a deep one. Are we up? We are freaking up. Okay. Let's go. Okay, this is the final ascent and then we're into the heavens, literally. This is basically just a victory climb, I think. Oh, wait, there is not anything there. Can we do it in less than four hours? Can we do this final radio tower in less than nine minutes? Oh, close. These are not easy to go off of. They really aren't. <laughs> okay, focus time. Okay, that's good. No! Nice, okay. What? Are you kidding, man? Oh, that was the furthest I've gotten. Oh, that's good. Oh, let's go. Okay. We did it! Oh my fucking god. 
Finally. I dedicate this game to you, the one who came oh. this far. God damn it. I give it to you with all my love. Come on, get back to the freaking asteroid. Whoops. I want to get back down to this one again. There we go. No, that's not it. Okay, we're going back down again, I guess. Do we need to hit the other asteroid? There we go. There we go. <sighs> I guess that's time. The timer doesn't work, I guess. <laughs> or my thing doesn't work. But uh, 4 hours, 15 minutes. Let's go. So yeah, thanks for watching. If uh, you haven't already, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and all that kind of jazz. All of this was streamed on my uh, Twitch channel, which you can also find in the description, Wardrums Gaming. And uh, it's been a good experience. I hope to see you come back. Normally I speedrun, sometimes I do other stuff. Very nice. <laughs>